Hey, we're, we're Team, team Blake, Blake, and this is... <laughs> we are Team Legend, and you're... <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are or we are? We are. We are. We're, we're Team Kelly, Kelly and, and you're watching. watching. You're watching. You're watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're watching <laughs> it, too. We're watching it, too. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez for Hollywood First Look Features, and we're at The Voice, and the contestants shared with me what their pre-show rituals are. Let's take a first look. For people that are singers out there, do you have any advice or any kind of pre-performance rituals that you guys do? Breathe, 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 breathe. And, and if you don't have any kind of like energies, or anything, you don't do the breathing? No, I don't do breathing. Okay, well, he I breathe, I breathe. He, yeah, okay, he does right, the Red Bull. How about y'all tell y'all story and I'll tell mine, are all right? Getting, are you getting offensive? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. getting offensive. I don't anyway. get defensive with you. <laughs> I do the pre-workout. I try to take a little bit. I didn't have none, so when he when he wasn't looking, I drunk a little bit of his Red Bull. But uh, <laughs> see, like what I do, I just don't worry. Yeah. You know, like yeah. there's no reason to worry. You know, the worst they could say is no, and that's not the worst thing you can hear. So I go in there with that mindset of just have fun, be yourself. I down a Red Bull or three right before I get on stage, and then I just go out and have fun and I'm myself. And as long as you're yourself. People are gonna love you, yep. you know. And so, just don't be nervous. Don't don't have those feelings, you know. Just kind of cast them aside and just be yourself. That's right. Know your song, you know. Know your words lyrically. I mean, it's it's it gets in your head, you know. It has you running yep. all over the place. Yep, it does. Sure. <laughs> but because you're having to learn a new song each week, each and every week, and you don't you have no idea really what it's gonna be. And um, so, know your songs, you know. So if you know your song, you can get up there comfortable. And you could perform, and you, like Jed said, you know, you could really share your heart to where others can connect with you and see the passion, you know, that you have for music. So. Since since the beginning, we've all got together for a prayer uh, before the show, and um, so yeah, we we all try and say a prayer together before each and every show. So it's it's a family. Yeah. It's not a competition. Prayer and, and just deep breathing. I was gonna say the breaths, get, getting your That's center, yeah. and knowing you're about to walk on there. And uh, I, my mind, I say. They're lucky to watch you. Do it, do it, like, don't don't be afraid of them. Be, like, let them love you, yeah. you know? This is your last chance to ever step on stage, yeah. you yeah. know, perform perform like that. So, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. It's just fun to be a part of. It is. Uh, breathe. Yeah, I'm breathing. <laughs> um, but also, if you can, turn the nerves into passion, which I know doesn't really seem like it makes a lot of sense, but there are some songs and some situations that, if you kind of use that energy and that emotion, you can channel it into yeah. making a better performance, I think. I also, I tend to think like, I have this one chance and this is my, my two minutes up here and I'm not gonna let nerves take that away from me. Right. So I tend to breathe and think about, you know, I'm gonna do what I do at home and what I do in a studio and, and connect. Yeah. For those singers out there that are having the jitters, it's three things that you can do to kind of offset the jitters. Practice your song, rest and hydrate. Yep. Period. Yeah. Practice I'm your not, song, rest and hydrate. Yeah, I, I drink formula. like eight you million like bottles crazy. of water. I don't even know how you do that. Like, I drink oh. over a gallon a day. Yeah, yeah, I do too. And you see our skin? You see this legendary skin, people? It's all that water we consume oh. every day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much piece of advice Blake has given y'all so far to be authentic and be yourself you know I've even with this past song I was worrying like are people gonna be tired of the rapping should I sing more he's like no do you do what they love people this was fan week and they asked for the song go out there and be yourself and he's always just told me to be authentic and that's all I want to do what's the biggest piece of advice you received so far biggest piece of advice I've received is to just be confident in myself, be confident in my craft, um, and to just stay focused, enjoy this experience, enjoy the moment, live in the moment, because you don't know what's, when it's going to end and, you know, that kind of thing. So I think that's the biggest thing I've taken from this. Yeah, Yeah, I would agree. Um, one thing about Team Adam, I uh, love Adam Levine as a coach. One thing he definitely encourages is to be yourself. And I think with me and Mari both, uh, he saw something in us. We both kind of got natural instincts on stage, great performers, and so he didn't want to hinder that at all. You know, obviously he gave us pointers, okay, be in the pocket a little more, give me a little more, but for the most part, man, he wants you to go out on stage and do you. And I think for a real artist uh, who doesn't mind constructive criticism but still wants to be able to be their own um, individual artist, I think he was the, the best coach to uh, embody that. 
thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to watch The Voice on NBC. I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> we are Team Legend. We're Team Kelly. We're Team Blake. And you're watching Hollywood First Look Features. <laughs>